former presidential adviser, Tanko Yakasai, has insisted that President Muhammad Buhari is incompetent. Yakasai said Buhari's inability to fix some of the issues he met as president has exposed him as an incompetent president. The other statesman explained that his long-held conviction that Buhari can't fix Nigeria's problems was responsible for his refusal to support all his presidential campaigns. Yakasai, who is based in Kano, while speaking via Zoom at a video conference organized by Governance Index, maintained that the past five years of Buhari administration has shown he can't fix Nigeria. He stressed that the president has failed in the area of electricity, creation of jobs for Nigerians. The former presidential aide said the issues affecting Nigerians, which Buhari met, are still there five years after assuming power. According to Yakasai, he said, I have never supported Buhari. I have been against him because I felt he was not competent to handle the job and I have been proven right. When President Muhammad Buhari was elected, I was hoping that at least we will get stable power all over the country. This is his fifth year. He has only two more active years because the last one will be for election. I don't know what are his plans when we cannot get electricity to restore its industrial might so that every man in Kano will be gainfully employed as a result of provision in Kano. Likewise, Enugu and Lagos, among others. Okay, those were the key issues from the time Buari was elected and they are still the issues of today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know who are going to, the people that will come for this man now, because if this statement is coming from the other side of the country, uh, it would be a different thing. Oh, of course, they will tell you he's a, he's a PDP man. They will tell you, because anybody who is not supporting them is, a, is from the opposition, uh, maybe they want to collect uh, the oil block, or maybe he's been looking for appointment. He's not been able to get the appointment, so that's why he's bitter. And that is just the truth. And one thing is that uh, they can't even blackmail. They can't even blackmail the southern part of the country. The people from the south they can't blackmail. So whether they think, uh, okay, this statement is coming, it's not coming from the north. It's coming from the south. One thing about the south people is that they will still talk, no matter how you want to liberate them, because that is just the truth. So it is not by oh this person is from my place. It is the it's the problem that we are. We are seen on ground. These problems have been dead. Like I used to say, the situation was worse. But now it's even, it's a, the situation was bad, but it's worse now. So everybody is feeling the pain. No matter what, you are feeling the pain. But just because some people just believe that uh, suffering is part of a life or is, is a way of life. So they don't see it as anything. That let them continue to be there. Those who will be manning the uh, seats of authority, let them continue to do that. It does not matter to some people, so they will continue to support them. But that is just the reality. Where are we moving? Are we moving forward or we are stagnant or we are moving backward? I think in my opinion, we are moving far, far back. We are moving behind, behind. We are not, I think we are even stagnant. It would have been a different thing. What is the what is the exchange rate, uh, the exchange rate today? They will tell you, oh, it is the a coronavirus that is causing it. Oh, they've told us before now that uh, the ease of this business, they've told us uh, about uh, diversification and what have we seen and what have we experienced? Nothing. Moving around circles. Even moving around circles is on the statement. We are moving back. Nothing is happening. Little, what is it called? Addressing your people, having one-on-one -on -one discussion with them is not even there. You can't even do it. So, I don't even know what I'm going to say, but it's just about trust what we are experiencing, not what people are saying, because as an individual, you know what you are experiencing, you know what you were experiencing before they came on board, before 2015, and you know your situation now. Some people will tell you, oh, some people have been able to make it, some people have been able to, there was a percentage, you ask, ask yourself, then tell me, even in those other years that we were complaining, some people were still making it, but we believe that this would have been a, a changed government that would rode on the mantra of a corruption, fighting a, a, against corruption, um economy fixing the economy and security and all of that even the security is even worse now <laughs> security is even worse the man is just even talking what is even concerned you know what is 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 affecting him just like i said every individual if you start asking them they know where they are hurting they know where they are 
they you know they are being affected so this man is just talking about electricity one of the things that he thinks that has not even improved because all the problems he just he said it's all the problems we've been experiencing in the past we are still experiencing them now so what is the what is the essence he said that is why he, had, he never supported him because he knew quite all right that he's not going to do better and he has proved uh proving him wrong uh, right just like people who said all manner of things concerning them concerning him the president they are they are smiling they say we told you we told you, and I just believe that maybe you would have done better also shame. Like I always say, Buhari would have been able to shame all those who criticize him, who said one or two things about him. But now we are still seeing that all the things they said about him, is even they didn't even say up to what is now happening now. So guys, let's hear what people are saying. You know, the man has said what he has to say. And he's not, uh, he's not afraid of that. Someone says, a popular Muslim adage says, you can predict a blessed friday from wednesday as a former head of state pmb led a delegation of his fulani tribesmen to oyo state to dis uh, to disgrace himself when two warring tribes fulani and yoruba had a clash in the early 90s his famous statement that made headlines was why are you people killing my people this came from someone who has former head of state is expected to be to be a nationalist in his approach actions and diplomacy from that moment many see pmb as a tribal by god in and is so and, is, and he has so proved it in the last five years such character cannot make meaningful impact in government because they are only there to serve their private agendas rather than advance the cause of a nigeria and that is the fact he came to hard to our troubles, multiply our difficulties and subtract from our unity. APC is a scam. That is what uh, another person saying here. Another says here that a uh, five wasted years and still counting. I am delighted that one northern can see beyond ethnic and religious considerations to pass a correct and valid verdict on five years of Buhari's presidency and the remaining years. There is nothing on ground that points to any positive change although those of us from the eastern side also was on the no that his presidency will be debacles and refused to vote for him not only suffering from limited intelligence his knowledge level and world view is zero only centered on Aousa Fulani and islamic religion again if he's truly honest as it's a a glitch he should honorably resign or delegates powers to his ascetic Seriba VP. His ethocentrism is confusing him. <laughs> Resign, K. Fa 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 That one is not going to work. Mm -hmm. But many Buaris have refused to wake up from their slumber. God, I don't think the biological father of this Yakasa is from North. This man always saying the bitter truth about Buari and Nigeria as a whole. I love this man. Wari is one hell of an incompetent person foisted upon Nigeria by a bunch of selfish ambitions and greedy people in the process, in the persons of Tinumbu and Co. In a same climb, Buari can't even aspire to be a regional administrator, let alone the office of a president. Hmm, this is absolute nonsense. Buari is Nigeria's all time worst president. The statistics is everywhere for everyone to see. No direction, no leadership quality, no leadership quality. Lies is all lies. We wear every day and nothing to show for it. If Buari was the best the North can offer, that means the North is the problem of the country because this man doesn't have any knowledge of this country. He's sworn on oath to unite and protect. It's obvious he has divided this country more than ever. What can he boast of? Nothing. He belongs to the dustbin of history. Hey, see, see, talk. We people, they talk. We should not even lie to ourselves. Everybody knows what is happening. You know, Nigerians will never change. They will criticize person who became president, a country that has been ruled by thieves since independence. In his few years, we soft or we solve all the problems of Nigeria, ungrateful people. That's what somebody is saying today. That Nigerians are not grateful. That uh, the problems that have been on ground, that it is not uh, enough. These few years Buhari has spent, it's not enough for, for, 
for Buhari to have solved the problem. The person talking about uh, you know, that is their logo now. The person is talking about uh, what people have stolen, the people who have ruled have, have stolen. Then what are we seeing now? And they are still stealing. <laughs> okay, someone says, not them. One Buhari spotted. Of course, it's spotted. Another says, uh, shut up, illiterate. Who invited you to comment? Okay. Yeah. Okay, the worst of it all. All be say from his number he is chatting outside Nigeria. Buari is too tribalistic by Godfrey and Nepostis to rule Nigeria. Now all the vital position in government belong to us. He lack capacity and vision to lead Nigeria apart from to keep borrowing money from China, IMF and the rest of the world. In the next 15 years to come, Nigeria cannot be free from debt because it's too much. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning what uh, Yakasai has said that Buari is incompetent and he can't do much. Leave your comments below and let's have your take. Thank you.